is the most socially acceptable video game to play. What do you mean, like to play in right. public or? As in to play it, for, as in like which one do you think is like sort of something that everybody thinks like, oh yeah, he's playing that game. Um, FIFA. FIFA. Yeah, I was thinking of FIFA, damn it. Because I was thinking about The Witcher's come out recently, and like, you know, not recently, but you know, The Witcher's now a thing in, I mean, in the mainstream. And I was thinking about it, like, five years ago, if I'd spent like a month playing The Witcher, like, my girlfriend of the time or whoever, like, not just, sorry, not girlfriend, I, I, use, I think I use my girlfriend as a sort of social yeah. hub, because to me that's what she is. But, um, the, uh, but like, you know, a per- like, all my friends would have been like, where's, where's he gone? Oh, he's playing that video in The Witcher. Like, uh, okay, yeah. but there are people who look like billions of hours on, on it, and also like um, Warcraft, uh, not Warcraft, yeah, World of Warcraft. Yeah. I mean, like people have killed babies from neglect from playing that game. It's more addictive, like allegedly, than sort of like heroin or something like yeah. that. But I've never played know. it. Yeah, me neither. But I am avoiding it in the same way yeah. I'd avoid hallucinogenic drugs. Um, I don't know. Like I used to be really into games as a kid. That uh, well, like, I think I think I'm becoming an adult. I don't want to have them don't have time for it yeah well I had a day off today yeah. but I didn't have anyone to hang out with yeah. so don't really have time it's like literally like that if I have a load of time mm. like I'm off from work for maybe a month or so I have a month. load of time and Dude, I'm how like, much time are you spending like, on side quests <laughs> like, I have like if I have like a load of time and I'm like oh maybe put the Xbox on or something yeah play a little game but like like if I just like my day to day going to work coming home I don't have time no, apparently it's just as healthy to do it as yeah. um, well. I mean, I'd rather just, I put a Netflix on or put a show on or something. I, said, I, don't I can't have... concentrate on Netflix yeah. that long. Yeah. Like, but like that's just the good thing about Netflix; it stays where you are on the episode. So like, even yeah. if I, even if it's like 10, 15 minutes, I can watch that and then go off and do something else. It has taken me something like four months to try and watch the whole a series of Messiah. I'm, I'm still oh, yeah, episode still, six. I'll, I'll finish it. You finished it. Yeah. Don't tell me the end. <laughs> but like my missus, she'll watch like the entire series in one hit. Yeah. Although apparently that's a sign of depression. But then everything's a sign of depression. It depends, like, if I have a lot of time, I can just watch the whole... And if it's a really good show, I can watch it all, like... Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, Game yeah. of Thrones. Yeah. So that was really easy to watch. I haven't watched it yet. You've not watched Game of Thrones, no. mate. Just it's on clear the list. a month. It's on, on the list. Like, clear a month. Yeah. Like, but like, I, I'm, I'm most likely going to watch it now that it's off, the, off air now. Yeah, I guess, because yeah. it's a bit easier yeah. to watch. And then, like, it's less hype. Yeah. I, mm. I just, I, whatever streaming platform it comes onto, I just kind of... I'll, I'll pick that up. It's not, I don't think it's on Netflix yet, so... No, I don't think it is. Yeah, when it, yeah, when it comes, yeah, when, when it comes, comes sooner it will come. Yeah, yeah, yes. everything comes to Netflix. S- everything comes to Netflix. <laughs> Eventually, I loved that yeah. bit. And uh, there was this, I was watching Have I Got News for You the other day, and uh, Charlie Brooker was hosting. And now that he's like Mr. Black Mirror, like before, he used to do it before when he was just a critic and he was like making his name for himself, which is really cool. Also, he's married to Connie Huck, who is like the sexiest. Well, so not the sexiest. That's disrespectful. For some reason, it's disrespectful to call her sexy, but anyone else is fair game. But Connie Huck. Like, probably everyone's favourite pr- Blue Peter presenter, apart from the old timely ones, although that's really, actually, I don't know, Matt Barker's pretty good. Never, I don't know. Never I, watched it. You never watched Blue Peter? No. Well, okay, fine. I've um, cool. I've cool. I'm joking. <laughs> so cool, dude. So cool. There's me, I couldn't be whiter saying that one. I, was like, I like Blue Peter. Yes. Um, ha, huh, rather lovely. Um, okay, uh, another question. Um, is there any greater mix of shame and anger than when you get tutted? What do you mean? If you're sitting there saying something, I go. I, I, it makes me want to. It makes me want to snap people's necks. Really? Well, yeah. Like I don't know why. I think this is something that I've learned from when I was little. Um, when I was in year three, my I was um at this uh, school and this kid tutted the teacher and he was my favourite teacher of all time, Mr. Pollard. His name's Hugh Pollard. Hmm. Uh, he's a really top bloke and um it was uh, yeah and he was. This kid tutted him. This kid was called Brett. He's an American. He was, and like, the teacher just lost his shit. Like, you know, like when they go quiet, and he just goes, Did you just tut? <laughs> and this kid's like, What? what? And he's like, You just tutted. <laughs> and like, oh, thank God we've got the boom mic on that. <laughs> yeah, we've got the little, the little defender. And yeah. he goes, You've tutted. <laughs> and like, and this kid was like, Yeah. I've never seen a room full of kids go that quiet. It was like, oh my god, you know that moment where like y'all kind of get executed, like you know, like it was it was that kind of silence. The whole crowd just went, and this teacher just goes fucking ballistic. Like he kept it together, but you know, like when they go, there's a difference between shouting teacher and really quiet teacher. Did you did you, did you notice back in the nineties, the teachers and early two thousands as well, teachers would, would go ballistic. Yeah, 
Yeah, and I, I, not, like, not so matter. much now, but like back no, then. Now they're not allowed yeah. to. It's weird. Yeah, but I, I had like a teacher throw like chair, a chair around at the, at the class. Wow. Kick the fuck. The headmaster <laughs> came in. He came in. <laughs> Such a bad thing to laugh at. Yeah. yeah so, <laughs> so basically, um, these two boys in my class, two guys in my class were playing around. Yeah. And then one guy pushed this other guy off the chair. And the guy landed, fell off his chair and landed on this girl's finger that was like picking what? up something behind her. I don't know if it so did he break a finger? I don't know if it broke, but it really hurt. So she was crying, and I, th- right. I think it, he might have broke her finger actually. Yeah, she was crying. This is probably uh, year five, so she was about probably probably ten years old. No, I think yeah, ten. I had a nine, ten years old. We were at the time. Yeah, he just came in and then like shouted at the two boys, and then like got so angry, picked up a chair, chucked it across the room. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I can see why that you, yeah. why you do that. I think again, it's going back to what we were saying earlier about like sort of an accumulation of stress and a bad day. I had that as a teacher myself, where I really lost my head. Yeah. Uh, a class that were just—I mean, it was sort of an ongoing, long-term problem where these kids just weren't bringing their books in. I yeah. felt disrespected, but over a long period of time, and their and their attitude was simply like, "No, oh, it doesn't matter, Mister. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Why does it matter? How you're cool is cool. Don't worry, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine." Oh my god! I've never wanted to hit anybody like. Well, I have, but I need to hit him. I was <laughs> furious. I took it really personally, and I think that that's probably what happened. But nowadays, I, yeah, think, I think you have to have a lot of patience to be a teacher. I, I couldn't do think, it. I don't nowadays. think. I don't think. I don't think uh, I especially, to, I especially in like nowadays in um to twenty twenty Britain, like these kids have no respect for the adults anymore. So. I think that that's because there's no fear. I mean, yeah. it's like what happened. Yeah, with... they've take, taken away everything that you can possibly do to them. Yeah, it was horrible. Yeah. I think that's horrible. And like you know, if you go, oh, you're in detention now, buddy. Yeah. Like before, you'd be shitting yourself. I know. But... I remember when I was young. I'm be scared now. I remember when I was young being um, an adult. being um <laughs> excluded was a big deal because mm. like, it was like like the thing was that oh, it's a black mark on your record and it's going to yeah. follow you for the rest of your life. Yeah, which comes come. To, come you, come to learn that it's absolute bullshit yeah absolutely bullshit. now like being excluded is a, is a very common thing you like i worked in a school for a little while and yeah people but that's because people they, get, don't, they don't people know where get, that line is yeah, because people, there's no one telling people get excluded them, for this is how i'm gonna slap you people get excluded for not having trainer for not having shoes people that's get, mental people get excluded for like, having them like, do you think that that's coloring like, in their the iceberg hair. type thing yeah or? Who the fuck gets expelled for like having a bit of different hair? Yeah, just like little things that look. Oh, it's against school rule. Yeah. You better get excluded. See, that's it. So now, it now you've taken. So you, now you've taken like something that's meant to be the most the fair ultimate thing. power. Yeah. yeah. Now it's just like you're doing it for every little thing getting excluded for. Like that's <laughs> that, crazy because yeah. I think that that's the two sort of sides yeah. of it. Because so just what, because what, you're not allowed to yell at a kid, yeah, but you totally should be able to. Yeah. Like I, if I if I had kids, I'd yell at them if they acted like dicks about yeah. something for ages. If I. You know, you yell at anyone, I not remember, just children or I've, anything. I've been I've been excluded twice for, uh, in school. Fuck uh, off. Yeah, yeah, twice. Really? Yeah, yeah twice. All right, heads up, we got a bad ass. <laughs> no, but, um, really? I did not know that. Yeah, I got twice, but like I remember when they both happened. Probably shouldn't say that on the radio because, you know, not radio, it's on the podcast. If, uh, yeah. Off point at 30. No wonder you went off point. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, yeah. What happened there? I remember when um it happened, I was like, it felt like my like, life was over. I'm like, oh, shit. Yeah. Because like, we all heard that, had that fear, like, you get excluded. Like, what kind of a badass were you before? It wasn't really, like, it wasn't, why is my voice like Yeah. When I say excluded, it was just like for a couple of days. Oh, that's not the yeah. same. That's like, that's if suspended. If excluded, yeah, suspended. Excluded means yeah. expelled. Yeah. And then like, you know, like, so now I wasn't kicked, now was kicked out of school, I was suspended. So, so yeah. worse than death according yeah. to Mindy Granger. But yeah, but like, also, that was, that was also like said that I have a black, black mark on your record. Yeah. 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 And that was more of a big deal. So yeah, so. Did you have the headmasters? Because our one was detention, yeah. then headmasters yeah. detention. Then, and I actually cried. I got one in year 10. I cried. Headmaster detention. Yeah, I cried. I thought my life was over. I was like, I was a sixteen-year-old man crying yeah. about the fact that I got a headmaster detention. Yeah. When I got there, the guy was like, "Why the fuck are you here?" <laughs> Go on. Yeah, so Sorry. yeah, I got excluded twice. So um, yeah, the first time it happened, I was like, really like, oh, my life is over. I got a black mark on my record, not be able to get into uni, got not be able to get into college. But then, uh, yeah, like that. Kill, same as yeah, everyone else. <laughs> compl- you, 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 you come to learn that's complete bollocks. Doesn't not, that nothing came of it afterwards? Like, yeah. Yeah, I, got, I got excluded after that again, like mostly for fighting. Well, you probably shouldn't fight. Yeah. I mean, like, you know, you're gonna. I mean, that's a legitimate reason yeah. to exclude somebody yeah. because they started a violent yeah. thing. Yeah. The, but then they called, again, it, they called it in the letter violent conduct. That's fair. Yeah. I mean, that is violent conduct. Yeah. You can't. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's it's like, yeah. I mean, you kind of copped it in the neck, yeah. but then you only got like a three day suspension. Yeah. But then again, I mean, like, is a parent, but that, that, yeah, that was a, that, to me that was a big deal, and like, my, also my, my mum yeah. took that seriously. Yeah, it was a big oh, deal. Yeah, but, I, but I think now, now it's kind of nothing. 
as I said, like the school I worked in, you get like suspended or like put in, like they have internal exclusion now. Yeah. Where you like, which is pointless. Yeah. It, that is completely yeah. pointless. It's like internal. Okay, so it's a prolonged detention. Yeah. Um, when I was in school, they just introduced that towards the end. So like, well, probably because they were sick of sending yeah. everyone so home. So like, they had this little um, this portable building out across the road called the unit. Right. So when you got in trouble, <laughs> yeah, it's called the unit. So when you got in trouble, you got like, oh, in, you'll be damned yeah. now. Yeah, so you're not allowed to come into school, you get sent to the unit. Send in Mr. Filch. Yeah. Like, you know, like, uh, send him out into the scary yeah. forest in Harry Potter, mate, that'll sort it out. Yeah, I've, like, I've, I've only spent like half a day in the unit, I never like. <laughs> half a day in yeah, the unit. Yeah. Mate, it just sounds like a solitary <laughs> like in prison. prison. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's like, send him to the unit. Yeah. And like, you know, like, little chain gang outside, like, <laughs> like yeah. what did you do? Oh, I coloured my hair in. Have you changed it? <laughs> Fuck off, no. Um, like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I got su- I got suspended twice from school, but to be honest, I should have been suspended a lot more than that. I, I, I got suspended <laughs> once, I think. I, I don't even know if it counts. But um, yeah, let's just not come back. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 no. I got no because it was the last day of sick form, and I thought it'd be fun to. Um, it, it's like the sick form pranks, and the, the teachers were kind of trying to make sure that no one was like doing pranks. But it's fun, and it's like it was kind of a tradition. I think it's one of those traditions that. It's a shame that they kind of crack down on because, you know, it's it's bullshit and you're trying to stop people from having, you know, from being twats. Yeah. And obviously, no, no one wants to see someone spray paint a penis across the body, gym across the gym. Although that is funny, objectively, mm. um, you know. I mean, <laughs> If so, if you came to school and it's like, why is there a massive penis? All the teachers milling around outside, going, "Oh, children, move along." That's hilarious. So, what did you get suspended for? Um, I had a little red man thong, glittery man thong. And um, a devil's hat, and I masked up, and um, took out my eyebrow piercing, took off all my jewellery, so that you know I shouldn't have been identifiable because I was basically running around in my skivvies. I, I did the big shave, yeah. and um, and <laughs> and um, I ran through the entire as as much of the school as I could, pretty much naked, just uh. like you know, just going Woo-hoo! like running along. Yeah, you see, you're reacting like that. Um, most of the kids thought it was quite funny, but the uh. weird part was. We had this teacher. Your sixth form was a lot different from mine. Yeah, no, I, I mean, probably, yeah, I I probably would have been beaten to death. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, I, like, apparently there was this history class going on that one of my friends was in, and he said that um, as I ran past the history class, first you you heard this sort of like big ruckus going on because all the kids were running behind trying to film it. Um, so you have me. So you hear this like, woo, who am I? Like running past this little flash of white ass going straight past them. <laughs> He's running for my life. Then you had all these six formers. No, they had all these teachers going, all the male teachers trying to chase me down and rugby tackle me with like everyone running th- running along like, fucking get him! Get yeah. the fuck out! And I'm like, you can't catch me! Because like, I was yeah. in the shape of my life. I mean, like, my cardio was up there. And like, the thing is though, um, and then everyone else running past trying to film it. And um, I escaped. I managed to get home. But um, then... <laughs> And then, um, but the problem was that this mu- this this teacher. I, I don't know if I should say what department he was in, but he nearly caught me. But he saw me like full on, like because you know, as I was running towards, I, I was running around outside, and I saw him uh, coming out one of the doors. And he looked at me. I looked at him. And I was like, "Oh fuck!" And I, so I took a detour, and then he started chasing me. And luckily for me, it went past all of the windows of the school. Yeah. And he goes. Um, he said afterwards. I know who it is. I recognise his body. And I was like, I'm being suspended, but he's okay for saying that? Like, these days, I'm sorry, but hang about. Isn't that a little red flag right, right. there? Like, I know what his, his body is. It's like, um, you shouldn't, because um, I've been very good about school uniform. Zero school uniform infractions here, you have to wear... I am like tied right up to here, mate. Did you have to wear school uniform in sixth form? Yeah, of course. Oh. Uh, no, sixth form, no. Um, but then again, I mean, you know, it was like sort of the early 2000s. So, if, I don't know, mid... No, 2010s ish. 2008, I think it was. And then. Um, 2006. Yeah, 2000. Well, I, I was. Oh, yeah, end of end of, end of the yeah. yeah. I'm okay. the same age as Harry Potter. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, what was it? And then, like, the other thing was that it was. Um, <laughs> so, anyway, I, I ran away and I, uh, I went to hide out at my mate's house because there was a car there and I just dived into the back seat, like, drive, drive, drive. <laughs> and this guy. <laughs> Well, he's angry teachers going, because I've cleared the school gate. Their power is no more. And like, I'm fairly sure a few of them are laughing. But um, I hope so anyway, because I got I didn't get away with it. But then, uh, then I got suspended for a day. And my mum was so upset. Um, but they rang me up saying, look, if you don't come back to school, we're going to expel Tom- Sean Skinner. 
And Sean Skinner was the prefect, like top prefect. Yeah. And I was like, not Sean Skinner. Why are they going to suspend Sean Skinner? It doesn't make any sense. But they were basically guilt tripping me to come back in and say, look, it was me, balls out, I'm sorry. But I felt terrible because I was like, well, no one else is going to take it. I was like, you know, I'm man up to this one. I'm not having Sean Skinner take the fall for me, mate. I'm going in because A, I'm noble, but B, I am stupid. Why the fuck would they go in? Because it's like, you know, Sean Skinner's sitting there like, I'm not going to tell you nothing. I don't know nothing. Well, we'll expel you then for not dobbing on people. It's like, you know, like, you know, it's serious, Sean. We saw his little chuddies. We know who it is. All we need is someone to spill the beans. We're upset. And, like, you know, Sean's like, I'm telling you nothing. It's interesting, like, um, you know, like, back then you think, like, you're like, you're an actual trouble like you oh, think, yeah, yeah, scary yeah. As well. it's kind of different now <laughs> when you look back on it like you, you don't really have any power well yes and no but it's the same yeah. sort of um, but it's the exact same principle as when you get pulled in at work for a little word yeah. or can I borrow you and you that same sinking feeling of oh fuck here we go um, you know like that's kind of how I felt when I had when I had people having a little word with me in the past yeah but I don't think that that element of I Ever think that, you think the, the kids nowadays recognise that the the teachers that don't really have any power. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. And even back then they would. Yeah. And as a teacher, you knew what they thought of you after about a month or two. Like for me, like for example, like detentions, like you could give me all the attention to you want. I'm not going to go to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So and that's what how they're going to do to yeah, what, stop you from that. Basically, what I used to do is um, I would only go to like the headmaster detentions. Really? Yeah, so the rest of them, if we, if a normal teacher gave me a detention, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I remember, like, my form tutor, like, used to, like, like every Monday, be like, oh, hey, I'm on your report this time for your behaviour. I'm like, okay. And then I just throw the report in the bin. Yeah. Like, throw it in the bin. And, and then your mum's like, sure, we should have one of these things yeah. in the last three years. Rings up at school. Like, no, 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 no. Yeah, <laughs> I throw it in, I throw it in the bin. Who's on the internet? <laughs> Get off the internet. Throw it in the bin, go quiet for a couple of days. He forgets why, and then start the whole process all over again. <laughs> yeah, like I would only we'll like deck this guy next time. The only time I kind of carried out uh, the report was when I, when I was on red report. So if what you does don't, that mean? like, if you're on red report, you're pretty much getting excluded. Ooh. Yeah, so does that mean expelled? Uh, I'm suspended, I think. Suspended, yeah. yeah. Sorry. So yeah, so if you're on red report, like you're one step away from being suspended. Yeah, you got to kind of keep yeah, that. So. One. Like, and that's done by the headmaster. Uh, the headmaster, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the headmaster, you have, you have to bring it to the headmaster every day, or the deputy. So, um, the time yeah. To so uh, and your mum, your parents have to sign it. So and uh, teachers. So and then yeah. you just forge the signatures anyway. Yeah. We used to have our, our diaries checked. Yeah. But everyone just learned how to forge it. So I can still do my mum. So when I got suspended, I got put on red report when I came back. And then I just like that was a dick to be honest. You <laughs> just kept punishing. Basically, what it was, I had a fight. It wasn't even a big fight. There's always there's, in my school. There's loads of fights. Yeah. So basically, like, I'm tired of all the fights in school. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take on an easy one. So I'm gonna um suspend you or exclude you. Said at the time. Or, so he's basically using you as yeah, an example. Yes, yeah, to make an example of you. I'm gonna I need to make an but example of Tad. So he, he said I'm gonna. He said that. He said that over and over again. I'm gonna make an example out of you. Well, so, to so, you, yeah. But why? He suspended me and the guy I had the fight with. Well, was it like because that was the most? Was it the most vicious fight? Or no, it, was wasn't. it, like, it wasn't. So it was just you, basically. You and this guy just had a fight. Slapped each other around a bit. Yeah. And, which okay, fine. You should have been excluded. Yeah. Don't wrong. But like him making the point. But, um, to make an example. Surely, should back, then, back then, back the then, back then, they didn't used to exclude for fights. So oh yeah. Well, then that's not... That's yeah. like... So there's, there's loads of fights that have happened. Dude, that this guy needed to get his yeah. disciplinary shit together. Yeah, so, so you've yeah. got to expel everyone or you can't expel yeah. every... You know, like, yeah. Yeah, so there's, like, loads of fights that's going... Like, the people that get... Like, only later that year, people started getting excluded, but, like... Well, because you were the first, yeah. and then it's set a precedent, so, oh, this actually works. Yeah, so... Um, well, what kind of an idiot? So he excluded me for that, and I was like, what, for this? Cause I've, 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 yeah, cause I've, you can't respect them for that. I was in year, I was in year then, eight at the time, so I've had fights, multiple fights before them without being. Without I think being year seven, year eight is pretty. I mean, it's, yeah. that's not good. Yeah, so I had multiple fights before then, but like, yeah, like it needs to be in one fight, and that's where the dickhead went and punched me yeah. in the face, and I turned the other. So cheek. um, <laughs> yeah, so he's like, yeah, I'm gonna he's like, deck the arse out. Huh? So he's like, yeah, I'm gonna suspend you, make an example out of you. So when I came back, he like put me on red report, so to show everybody I'm on red report. And then just kept bringing it up every time he, he like yes he taught me for like you know like religious studies. Oh yeah, great! Yeah, so he used to just like bring it up every single day. Like oh, people, Why? people are getting excluded. He would come over to me like, like just to make sure everybody that yeah he suspended me. 
Well, then that's just yeah. really bad. He just kept doing it over and over but again. But then he's going to make you into the bad yeah. kid instead of I'm like, you I'm, actually being able to improve. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not even doing anything. Yeah, because yeah, so. like you're just sitting there like, what the fuck you doing? Yeah. And then he's going to have a further disciplinary issue yeah. with the fact that you're then going to have to make a point of sort of telling him to fuck off because yeah. he's being a dick. But so that was the first time I got excluded and then the second time well, I was clearly like, his method worked. Yeah, the second time. <laughs> that was the second time. <laughs> the second time. To be fair, that it was a big situation. I'm getting the text from you now because you're my friend. I'm like, what fucking prick did what? <laughs> yeah, to be fair, that was a big situation so it was, it was definitely probably... All right, well, you probably deserved it. Exactly, time yeah, four people were suspended in that situation. So, oh. yeah. Oh, good, good. I, good. I mean, I'm glad I wasn't involved because I'd have been like the little kid at the back going, don't stop it. Yeah. <laughs> we had this one situation where we had this teaching, um, this this woman came in to do a trial, I think she was a trainee teacher, and um, she she was kind of bully bait. Um, she was, uh, she had like a major, major uh, lisp, but on like three letters. Um, so most of her, so a lot of our of the kids couldn't really understand what she was saying, but she used to pronounce detention as detention. Yeah. So she was threatening. Like three letters. Yeah, like detention. <laughs> I don't know if it was three letters, but it was quite a lot. Of, there was enough for it to, for her to be an easy target, and um, like you know, I mean, like, but it's not her fault she had a speech impediment, but it didn't help that she was teaching in front of a poster of the baptism of someone who just looked like he was getting a blowjob, uh, you know, <laughs> and it was like one of those religious like ye olde things. And for some reason, no teacher had thought maybe this isn't the best poster, and um, so we got a new classroom and a new teacher, and there's and we were notorious for being the best behaved class. So when the naughty kid, who wasn't really naughty, he's now a doctor, yeah. um, got given a random detention, um, he he was a bit like it kind of encouraged him to be a bit of a class clown, but but she she sent him out, and the problem was that he argued, and then she got angrier, so her lisp and her all of her sort of those things got worse, and her grip on the on the class got worse. So she and I couldn't stop laughing, so I got sent out as well. Everyone who was laughing got sent out. So by the end of the class, she had started with about four, uh, 32 kids. 19 of us were outside laughing. And the other tw- 11 were sitting in there just about holding it together, trying to colour something in. And like, I think that in that case, so the next lesson, we had, they brought in another teacher that we were supposed to respect, but we didn't because this other teacher who was supposed to have us had a habit of coming 20 minutes late to class. And it, class was an hour. So we would sta- we'd have to stand out in the cold waiting for her for 20 minutes before she- while she bothered to show up. And again, like, you How couldn't really you respect at? her. Huh? How old? We were a year nine. Year nine. So at that age where you start to realise actually adults aren't all yeah. powerful. If and tr- that they have to earn your respect yeah. as well. And it becomes a two-way thing instead of I'm the teacher, therefore. Yeah. It's I'm the teacher, but we can tell between a good teacher and a bad teacher at that stage. And I think that when you come in, I mean, I bless her, with retrospect as a training teacher, I feel bad. But it was still really funny. Um, it's interesting though, like when you talk about um, like the discipline, because I had like a teacher, like that that age thing where you get old and you realize the teachers are not um, as powerful as you thought they were. Yeah, they just so like I had a teacher that was really strict, like yeah. she shouted and everybody was like, oh, from like year seven she started, yeah. but she, like, she, she was shouting long enough, and everybody was like. <laughs> But then it's weird, it's a weird thing with her because I, I got kicked out of my Spanish class because I threw a dictionary at a teacher by accident. Well, okay, like, wait. You're what? a dick for doing that, man. Like, that <laughs> no, I'm throwing it at somebody. Somebody threw a dictionary at me and I threw it back and I missed and hit the teacher. I can see why you got in trouble for that. Yeah. Like, you deserve that. I, I'm, well. I'm not complaining about that. Yeah, again, like, yeah. Yeah, like you, I you, that. Yeah, yeah, you that. definitely deserve yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, I got kicked out, sent to the, my head. Uh, she's de- I think she was the deputy head at the time. No, oh, so I went to yeah. Her, yeah. I got sent into her class. She's an English teacher, so I had to like wait till to the end of the class to teach, speak to her. So she put, I got, got sent to the classroom. I had to wait in there. So she was That's teaching. She was, te- she was teaching the people the year above me, mm. and I know her because she I was like year nine at the time. So mm. she's teaching the year tens. So I I, I know her as the strict teacher. So no, I'm terrified of going. And she's trouble. with the class at yeah. So she's she, so she's um teaching the year tens, and. I'm seeing the year tens just running around doing all sorts, and she's like, oh, please, please be quiet. She's like completely quiet because I, I don't know. I think she got scared when you when you hit a certain age group. It was weird. weird. So like like she was good from me like year from your year seven to year nine. She was good strict, but as soon as you hit year ten, year eleven, terrified, yeah. c- completely quiet. You could do what you want. Weird. So like it was weird, and then I ended up in her class. Um, 
she was my English teacher in year 10 and year 11 yeah. at GCSE. And then I, I remember just like doing no work in her class and she couldn't tell me any of that. I was looking, I'm like, what happened to you? Yeah. But yeah, but shout out to her. That's she, quite scary. Shout out to her because she, um, Miss Thomas, she stopped me from being suspended a couple of times. Dude, so she saved your ass, but did that make you respect her more? Um, I did. I always had respect for her. Yeah. Yeah. I've had to um meet with her a few times when I got sus- when I came back for suspension with my mom. Uh, yeah, but yeah, she st- actually stopped me from being suspended because I had like an incident incident with the f- I had a fight with somebody and the teacher got punched in the mouth. I don't know if it was me or the other guy that punched the teacher in the mouth. Wow. But um, yeah, she stopped me from being suspended That's for that. Fun school to be. In. <laughs> no wonder no one wants to buy any work. You, know, you got like, the shit ones who are like uh, who go in there on the, uh, in September just like. Go in there like I'm gonna make a difference. <laughs> yes, and like by by Christmas they're all just sitting there. There's not enough whiskey in the fucking fuck, world. It's funny I'm like mid year eleven. <laughs> it's nine a.m. What are you doing? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny like mid year eleven we had like this new RE teacher come in and goes, oh your all your other teachers were quitters. I'm not gonna quit and you guys she quit. <laughs> yeah, wait, give her two weeks. Why would you start with that? <laughs> it's the dumbest yeah, thing. She's like, I'm not gonna quit. I'm gonna stay there. Oh she, yeah, yeah, she, yeah. She, yeah. She, I'm she, she's just put a massive yeah. target on your face. She couldn't, she, she, couldn't, she couldn't get anything done. She couldn't get no teaching done. She's from, she from Canada, I think. Oh, yeah. God bless her. Yeah. Oh. She, 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 oh, she did didn't she, make did it she all. expect Canadian kids? Aww. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. No, because I, I, I was a te- when I was a teacher, I used to teach years uh, 10, 11, 12, for the most part. Um, occasionally year nines and you know a few younger ones. And Obviously, in, in a previous job, I taught others. But for the most part, my kids are between the age of 14 and 18, and they were the fucking best. I loved the kids, even especially the naughty ones. The naughty ones, I was like, ah, come on, project, come to me. Um, but, um, but like, um, I, there were kids who were absolutely fluent, and there were kids who just didn't bother as much, which was a shame. But the ones, but um, I found that for me, the major there was a line I, I realized after about a year that um, while a lot of them probably didn't respect me because a I was foreign, b I was, um, you know, I was the fun teacher. Because to be honest, after a few times, after. A few, like when you realise you're doing two people's jobs, you stop. You just you stop. You lot. I had to let a lot of stuff slide, and also I wasn't seen as a proper teacher. Um, I don't think because it was kind of a novelty. Um, but my kids were. I mean, it was so much fun working with those kids. But I realised that you have to be honest and open with them about how you feel, otherwise they're gonna fuck with you. Because there were classes I had where I. I mean, I blew up a few times. I had a reputation for, you know, like for. Well, they called me a Mr. Gila at one point. Um, which means Mr. Crazy, because I go from um, being quite happy and relaxed and stuff like that with them, and then after a while I'm like, actually, you guys are taking the fucking piss. And then I'd snap, and it would just really, you know, like when it just kind of, that little moment where it just kind of gets to you a little bit too much, Mm -hmm. and then I just blow my lid, and I don't feel bad about it at all. I mean, I feel bad that, um, you know, I didn't want to lose anybody. At the same time, I would rather have one kid be upset with me for a week, and then talk to them about it afterwards, and, but when you do talk to them about it, you do have to sit down with them and just to, and just explain really, really simply why you're upset and why their behaviours hurt you and say that I try not to take it personally, but I do sometimes. And it's hard not to take it personally. If someone says you're shit in any job, yeah. no matter who it is, it hurts. It hurts your feelings. But I mean, no one's ever done that to me, really. I, I, don't, I think uh, that as a teacher, it's not really down to how the student feels. I think as long as you're making sure that they learn and they, at the end of the day, walk away with something. Yeah, but they're not going to learn. They will respond to you unless you have yeah. some sort of relationship. So what age group were you teaching? Though? Um, it would be years 10, 11, 12. Um, but actually, to be fair, like, I was doing 42, well, it was 36 classes, 1,400 students. And all of them were just... Every single one of them, there wasn't a day went by when I didn't absolutely love all of them. Mm. Um, and I'm not just saying that because they're basically my audience on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> um, but they were phenomenal and like a lot of them, I still talk to a few of them actually, and I would say that when, and when I went back, for example, um, a year later, they all recognised me and, you know, and obviously there was a lot of them, so I didn't, rec- I didn't know everyone's names. I only learned about sort of 10, 15 names. But they uh, know you. I recognised the faces and they know who I was. Yeah. and. I think that a lot of that was partially because I was a novelty because I was, you know, white, and um, and there weren't that many white people in that area at all. Oh, okay. But also because um, I felt that I did try my best for them. Um, I did have limited resources. Um, a lot of the time, the textbooks that we used for IELTS, which was like the most advanced English, yeah. um, the textbooks were quite dry, um, and also so I had to teach around a lot of it. And I didn't, I didn't like being that idea of just going through the book. It had to, you find the grammar point, you make it interesting. 
And if it's interesting for me, it's interesting for them. But then the first lessons, like I think the kids I had on Monday, they were kind of the draft lessons. So they were they were really good kids, most of them. But then if things didn't work in that class, I'd, I'd tune it and tune it and tune it. And on Thursday, we'd go out. So Friday morning, I don't think there was a single Friday morning first class that I arrived to completely sober. Um, but, but I don't know why we decided that was the day to go drinking. Mm-hmm. But, um, but on a, yeah, but I mean, like, there was this class where they were just like a bit, like my last class on a Friday, and my last day with them was actually probably one of the most emotional experiences I've had professionally. Um, and, you know, I mean, I write about dead people and ask their family how they're doing. Um, but these kids, they, they were all a bit like, they were really naughty, but they were really, really fun because they were all really good at English anyway. So we just sit there and have actual chats about life and just talk about what it is and then like talk about culture. And it was really interesting. But, and like, I walk in, I'm like, oh, guys, you know, if I was having a bad day, I was like, guys, shut up. Please shut up. Shut up. You know, like, and you just be like, oh, but then, like, they, <laughs> these two kids, there was this, these two boys jumped up. It's like, shut up. Mr. Steed is trying to talk to you. Why are you talking? He's like, I am not talking. You are talking. Mr. Steed is trying to say something. Let us turn around and listen to what he has to say. And they both turned around and they went like this at me. And I couldn't stop laughing. So the entire lesson went to shit because I, could, I got the giggles. But on the last day, they, um, they made me sit down um, in front of the board and then they were like, and I was like sitting, I was like, I do not trust a single one of you little fuckers. And, like, and they're like, no, 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 stay with us, sir, stay with us, talking to me. And um, they uh, wrote on the board, and I was like, guys, there better not be a huge penis behind me. There better not be a big penis behind me. And they were like, and I was like, please don't write anything rude. And then they wrote a song up there, and then they sat there with a guitar or two, and they just sang with me. I, it was like this really nice time. It's like all like, Mr. Steve, we're going to miss you. You're a favourite teacher. You don't give a shit like the others. I'm hang about. <laughs> <laughs> it was just this wonderful moment. And um, it was just really, really, yeah, it, it made me want to go back into teaching. And um, Did you ever teach in this country? I tried to. I just um, actually failed two interviews to oh. be a teacher. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the last week or so, before, in between recordings, actually. What age group would you teach? Uh, one would be primary school because um, I think that I do miss teaching that age, yeah. and I was good at that as well. But the other one was secondary school. Oh. I yeah. Uh, um, but I think the secondary school I was going to be an English teacher. But yeah. I think that oh, during that interview, nightmare. I kind of realised I was more of a writer than yeah. a teacher. It's a nightmare. It's yeah, a nightmare. and I I always used to hate doing grammar. Yeah. So I think that I, while I can do it, I think it's one of those situations where I'm very qualified as a writer, but. And I'm good as a teacher, but I'm good at building rapport. I'm not very good at the actual nitty gritty, which is what they need. But then again, if you're going to train someone to teach, surely the foundation of that should be that they that you have that rapport and that mm. ability to connect, as opposed to can I stand in front of a board and just write on it and mm. then say, look, do this. This is how it works. I mean, I, I never, I never, I never forget my English teacher. The my not the, not in school because I did awful in school. But I mean, like when I did when I redid my English in um, sixth form. Yeah, I just remember my English teacher. That like the first day, he was just like he's the type of strict teacher where it's like no talking, you have to be dead on time, and yeah. um, he, the first thing he, he well, you you nailed down the discipline in the first month, yeah. Didn't and then um, the first thing he did is introduce like a a, a seating chart or seating plan. Yeah, yeah, that's quite like, a good move as well. Like, oh, I I didn't like him at first. I'm like, oh, twat. <laughs> And I remember some, this guy came in like two minutes late and he's like, why are you late? And he's like, oh, it's only two minutes. I, yes, wrote, I wrote on them when they were late. Still. I wrote the number of how many minutes they were late yeah. on their foreheads in marker. I don't regret it. <laughs> I mean, I did it once and he was a really good kid. I knew I could do it with him yeah. because, you know, like, I, well, it was funny. Uh, so, but yeah, go on. Yeah, so this guy, like, was really strict. But by, by the end of it, I walked away with, like, passing like, like, past English. Yeah. And I was like, oh. And that's like, if you know my history with English, it's like, I, I, that's the only time I've ever passed English of that. Yeah, the, the English oh, GCSE level. I've never passed it at any at any at any level. Do you want to give that teacher a shout out? I can't remember his name. I wish I would. Have, <gasps> I would. <laughs> he got you in yeah, English. Yeah, for the first time ever. Wow. Yeah. I mean, like you must have been his Everest. Because yeah. I'm my chemistry teacher. And he, I, he came up to me the following year, and he was like, "Oh, I, 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 well done, one." And I was quite pleased with that. I was like, "Yeah, me too." <laughs> like, don't 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 cry in front of the others. Don't fry, cry in front. I of wish the I, I wish I could remember his name because he only only told me for one year, but yeah. But, I mean, I think that's the point. It yeah. makes it count. I mean, for me, one of my... Um, so I don't mean to keep bringing it back, but I think that the first... I mean, he's clearly got a good strategy there, yeah. but he's at first established that where the lines are yeah. and he what he expects of the class. And I think that's very important. Um, but that's what you do in lesson one. And if you don't, then you've got then you've got a lot of kids who are going to test you. Yeah. Um, I think that... But I think that going back to 
sort of going from that and then then once you've got discipline in order then you can actually get on with the job but i think that in your you know in a case in yeah, there he's the type of person be like well if some people be laughing in class like why are you laughing english is not fun it's boring do your work <laughs> <laughs> oh he sounds great it's like <laughs> he sounds quite a yeah. funny guy like you know like being nice yeah. you've got to be a little bit sarcastic about yeah. what you're doing you have to take a bit of sense of humor in it like you know it's like at, at the time going through it was shit but then at the end of it you walk away with like yeah. you, you walk away with why a gcse a which, which is your aim in the first place to yeah. walk away instead of like failing it for a second time right? yeah i mean it sounds to me like <laughs> yeah. he's a good teacher like it sounds to me like he's he's done very well yeah, especially yeah. the fact that he can take himself with a bit of picture because he's dedicated yeah. his life to teaching i think I, that's what i needed like if i had like one of the other english teachers i probably would have failed it again and then yeah yeah well i mean also it's up to you to sort of put in the effort but then again yeah. but i had like friends that retook english and failed it again and then yeah, yeah. i don't think i'm not sure if they ever re got their English qualification but yeah they failed it again and they made it difficult for them to, to get into uni and stuff like that I will do because it's a yeah. basic skill yeah. I mean like that's yeah. any job that I've got it's like you need an, a, an yeah. A level in or you need at least anything GCC even English. just to get into the army Yeah, you needed more than a C for GCC yeah. English Yeah, and if you didn't then you were kind of like then it's like the fuck no Yeah, like, yeah it means you can't hold a gun Yeah, which is ridiculous <laughs> like you know it's just it's like you know, like you, well, shoot yourself yeah, with you it. can't, yeah, you can't write. Hold it just, backwards. <laughs> yeah, I've got a friend though. She's a journalist, and she's a very, very good journalist, and she's dyslexic. So yeah. it just shows that you know. I mean, like, I mean, she. I think she went a little bit far with conquering her Everest, but she's done great, yeah. and it just shows that you know, like, it does things. You know, like that determination, but also the right person. And like, do you feel that you respected him as a teacher? Yeah, I did. more than the others. I did, um, especially after I passed, I definitely respected him. Oh, yeah, I mean, that do it. Yeah. It's a bit late for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. At first, I was like, oh, this is a bit of a, like, I, just, I hate going to his classes. I'm fairly sure we probably felt yeah. the same way about you. Yeah. It's like, oh. No, I was right. good in his class. I was good in his class. Oh, you were good in his class. Yeah. All right. But by this, I, I changed by the time I was in sixth form to, like, I was, like, kind of a model student in sixth form. <laughs> really? <laughs> no, I was really. So you went from fighting to hangabout we got to wear our yeah, own clothes. Well, well, like my sixth form is not um, it's connected to my school, but it's not in my school. It's in a different, completely uh, different location. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's completely. And I think, as I said before in the previous episode, I think people change between the like when they hit the age of sixteen plus, you change. Yeah, yeah. You know, I think you're the no longer, society respects yeah, you more as yeah. an adult, and that's and the, the environment change. You couldn't like, for example, you can't get into fights. You get kicked out immediately. Yeah, it's good. You can't be late and certain stuff like that. There's, there was more discipline. There's more like. You can't just do what you want. We found that it was slightly more relaxed form. discipline, actually. Oh, in that like, sixth form, was a, a lot more. I remember um, when I first started my sixth form, where um, I was walking past my friend's class. Mm. I, just, I just yelled his name as I was walking by. Yeah, correct. He had the door open. I'm like, yo, whatever, whatever his name was. And then I kept walking. And then, like, somebody goes, excuse me, young man. Give me your ID card. <laughs> Fuck. So I turn around and it's, it's like really short. It's like probably five two or something. So I turn around. Yes, Flitwick. Yeah. I turn around. I turn around. I'm like, didn't see nobody. Keep walking. <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> turn around again. Didn't see nobody. Keep walking. Like, excuse me. I'm talking to you. And I look down. I'm like, oh, sorry, professor. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, give me your ID card. Well, well you have to explain the armist that one. Yeah. And I, I basically, I just came from from secondary school mentality. So I was like. My mentality, second in school, I would never give you my ID, uh, ID yeah, card or anything. I'd like, I'd have run off, I'd like run away, like catch they me. They know if you can. who you are anyway, man. Yeah. They're just gonna tase you. I think <laughs> you should bring tasers to <laughs> school. They're no running in the hallway. I tell you what, that's one way to make an example. That's, that was it? my mentality in school. <laughs> Why did Marlon get tasered? <laughs> oh, he was running in the hallway, and um, turns out Mr. Wilkins is quite the shot. <laughs> just like, yeah, the little teachers like tallying him up on the on the in the staff room. Yeah, that was my mentality of school. Like catch me if you can, sort of thing. So, like, oh, I had yeah, that. and to be fair, so, I mean, you know, you got quite long legs. Yeah. So, I think that so like challenge accepted actually remember well, that's actually my, my actually, actually remember I actually <laughs> remember the one time um they had, they, they had like the list of detentions and like the like, name they, they are called out on the Friday the list of the, the people who got detention They're like Marlon Kerniff then I'm like <laughs> no <laughs> then I'm like this leg bit <laughs> run out <laughs> my, my t- <laughs> my, like, this teacher like Huh? <laughs> he ain't coming back. He, he ain't me, coming he, back. He see me run it. I just, I just did a runner. <laughs> like, Marlon! All the teachers quietly <laughs> praying for a bus. Like, uh, please go further catch away. Catch me again. But um, <laughs> yeah, back to that story. Yeah, so he's like, give me your ID card. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know why I did. I gave it to him. Thank God I did. But anyway, yeah, he, like, they said like, he said, I'll see you at four o'clock today in my office. 
Turned out he was like the dean of discipline. Oh shit! <laughs> yeah, they took me in the office, gave it's always me. It's the little guys, yeah. It? It's always the little ones. He gave me like a lecture for like twenty minutes. Like this is not year nine. This is not school. I'm the dean of discipline. You, dean of discipline. Yeah, you disrupted. That's, that's like a title yeah. and a half, isn't it? The dean. Yeah. Of dis- Did he have like a, a big, yeah. like a big cane on the yeah. wall? Like fuck you. It's like it's like you disrupted my class by, I'm fucking by yelling in there. This is, this, is not, <laughs> this is not school. Gave me a big lecture. He goes, okay, who's your form tutor? I had to give him my, my form tutor. Who's your teachers? He spoke, apparently, like, he spoke to all my teachers that same day. Fuck. Yeah, he went for He's me. efficient. Yeah. And then my teachers. people making examples so I came in. You. I came in and I came to, to my classes the next day and like, my teacher's like, what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, my teacher was like, what did you do? Like, they're like, your card has been mocked by this guy. He's like, he's, he's fucking pissed. <laughs> Yeah. He's making an example of you. Oh, yeah. God damn it, not another one. <laughs> yeah. And I, I've, to be honest, I've pretty, that's the only bad thing. 